Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the essentials of networking hardware. Whether you're an IT pro or just starting, this video will boost your knowledge and help you excel in the CompTIA exam. Don't miss out on other valuable content in our series. Let's explore the fascinating world of networking together. Question 1. A technician needs to connect multiple PCs in a home office to share files and printers. Which device should be used? A. Router B. Switch C. Firewall. D. Access point. Correct answer B. Switch. A switch is the best choice for connecting multiple PCs in a home office to share files and printers. Switches allow devices to communicate with each other within the same local network, making it easy to share resources like files and printers. A. Router. Routers are used to connect different networks and route traffic between them, not for connecting devices within the same network. C. Firewall. Firewalls are used for security purposes, such as filtering and monitoring network traffic, not for connecting devices. D. Access point. Access points are used to extend the wireless network coverage not for connecting wired devices within the same network. Question 2. A small business wants to segment traffic between departments. Which network device separates broadcast domains? A. Router B. Switch C. Hub D. Modem. Correct answer. A. Router. A router is a network device that separates broadcast domains. Routers operate at layer 3 of the OSI model and can break up broadcast domains by routing traffic between different subnets or VLANs. B. Switch. While switches can segment collision domains, they do not separate broadcast domains. Switches operate at layer 2 of the OSI model. C. Hub. Hubs do not segment broadcast domains. Instead, they work at layer 1 of the OSI model and simply repeat incoming signals to all connected devices. D. Modem. Modems are used to connect a network to the internet, but they do not separate broadcast domains. Question 3. An administrator needs to implement access control policies for inter-VLAN routing. Which type of switch should be used? A. Unmanaged B. Fiber channel C. Modular D. Managed. Correct answer, D. Managed. A managed switch should be used for implementing access control policies for inter-VLAN routing. Managed switches provide layer 3 functionality, allowing administrators to configure VLANs and access control policies. A. Unmanaged. Unmanaged switches do not offer the advanced features required for implementing access control policies for inter-VLAN routing. B. Fiber channel. Fiber channel switches are used in storage area networks, SANs and are not designed for inter-VLAN routing. C. Modular. Modular switches allow for the addition or removal of modules, but this does not necessarily imply layer 3 functionality or access control policies. Question 4. A company is installing new PoE security cameras. Which device supplies power through the Ethernet cable? AA, injector B, patch panel C, repeater D, bridge. Correct answer, A. Injector. A power over Ethernet PoE injector supplies power through the Ethernet cable to devices like PoE security cameras. The injector connects to the network switch and provides both power and data to the connected device. B. Patch panel. Patch panels are used to organize and connect Ethernet cables in a network, but do not supply power. C. Repeater. Repeaters are used to extend the range of a network signal, but do not supply power. D. Bridge. Bridges are used to connect different network segments but do not supply power. Question 5. A technician needs to terminate CAT6 cable runs in a server room. Which component should be used? A. Hub B. Router C. Patch panel D. Line splitter. Correct answer. C. Patch panel. 
A patch panel should be used to terminate CAT6 cable runs in a server room. Patch panels provide a centralized location for connecting and organizing Ethernet cables, making it easier to manage and maintain the network. A. Hub. Hubs are simple devices that connect multiple devices in a network but are not used for terminating cable runs. B. Router. Routers are used to connect different networks and route traffic between them, not for terminating cable runs. D. Line splitter. Line splitters are used to split a single telephone line into multiple lines, not for terminating Ethernet cables. Question 6. A network technician needs to capture and analyze traffic from the local LAN. Which network appliance allows this? A. IDS B. NAS C. VPN concentrator. D. Network tap. Correct answer, D, network tap. A network tap allows a network technician to capture and analyze traffic from the local LAN. Network taps provide a non-intrusive way to monitor network traffic, making them ideal for troubleshooting and analysis. A, IDS, intrusion detection systems, IDS, are used to monitor network traffic for malicious activity, not for capturing and analyzing all traffic. B, NAS. Network attached storage NNAS devices provide centralized storage for a network but do not capture and analyze network traffic. C. VPN concentrator. VPN concentrators are used to create and manage VPN connections, not for capturing and analyzing network traffic. Question 7. Which networking device uses IGMP snooping to optimize multicast traffic? A. Hub. B. Switch. C. Firewall. D. Load Balancer. Answer. B. Switch. A switch that supports IGMP snooping can optimize multicast traffic. IGMP snooping allows the switch to monitor and filter IGMP packets, intelligently routing multicast traffic to the appropriate recipients. A. Hub. Hubs are simple devices that connect multiple devices in a network but do not support IGMP snooping. C. Firewall. Firewalls are used for security purposes, such as filtering and monitoring network traffic, not for optimizing multicast traffic. D. Load balancer. Load balancers distribute network traffic across multiple servers to optimize performance, but they do not specifically optimize multicast traffic. Question 8. Which component allows connecting wired devices to a wireless network? A. Hub B. Access point. C. Modem D. Bridge. Correct answer. D. Bridge. A wireless bridge allows connecting wired devices to a wireless network. The bridge connects to the existing wireless network and provides Ethernet ports for wired devices, enabling them to access the network without a direct wired connection. A. Hub. Hubs are simple devices that connect multiple devices in a network but do not provide wireless connectivity. B. Access point. Access points are used to extend the wireless network coverage, not for connecting wired devices to a wireless network. C. Modem. Modems are used to connect a network to the internet not for connecting wired devices to a wireless network. Question 9. A company needs to implement a network access policy for BYOD clients. Which component helps enforce this? A. Switch B. Router C. Gateway D. Firewall Correct answer. D. Firewall. A firewall helps enforce a network access policy for BYOD clients. Firewalls can be configured to implement access control policies, ensuring that only authorized devices can access the network and its resources. A. Switch. Switches are used to connect devices within the same network, but they do not enforce network access policies for BYOD clients. B. Router. Routers are used to connect different networks and route traffic between them, not for enforcing access policies for BIOD clients. C. Gateway. A gateway is a network device that acts as an entrance to another network and does not necessarily enforce access policies.
question 10. An ISP provides internet access via a fiber optic line. Which device terminates this connection? A. ONTB. Modem C. Firewall. D. Access point. Correct answer, A, ONT, an optical network terminal, ONT, terminates the fiber optic connection provided by an ISP. The ONT converts the optical signal from the fiber optic line into an electrical signal, which can then be connected to a router or other networking devices. B, modem. Modems are used to connect a network to the internet, but they are typically used for DSL, cable, or other non-fiber optic connections. C. Firewall. Firewalls are used for security purposes, such as filtering and monitoring network traffic, and are not used for terminating fiber optic connections. D. Access point. Access points are used to extend the wireless network coverage, and do not terminate fiber optic connections. Question 11. A home user needs wireless internet throughout their house. Which networking device provides this functionality? A. NAS B. Hub C. Router D. Wireless access point. Correct answer. D. Wireless access point. A wireless access point provides wireless internet coverage throughout a house. It connects to the existing wired network and broadcasts a wireless signal allowing devices like smartphones, laptops, and tablets to connect to the internet wirelessly. A. NAS Network Attached Storage NAS Devices provide centralized storage for a network, but do not provide wireless internet coverage. B. Hub Hubs are simple devices that connect multiple devices in a network, but do not provide wireless connectivity. C. Router Routers are used to connect different networks and route traffic between them. While some routers have built-in wireless access points, not all routers provide wireless functionality. Question 12. A company is migrating physical servers to a cloud environment. Which technology enables this? A. SDN. B. IDS. C. NetBIOS. D. VLAN. Correct answer, A, SDN. Software-defined networking, SDN, enables the migration of physical servers to a cloud environment. SDN allows for the virtualization and centralized management of network resources, making it easier to move servers and their associated applications to the cloud. B, IDS, intrusion detection systems, IDS, are used to monitor network traffic for malicious activity, not for migrating servers to the cloud. C, NetBIOS. NetBIOS is a networking protocol used for communication between devices on a local network, not for migrating servers to the cloud. D. VLAN. Virtual local area networks, VLANs, are used to segment network traffic within a local network, not for migrating servers to the cloud. Question 13. A technician needs to crimp CAT6 cable onto RJ45 connectors. Which tool is needed? A. Loopback plug B. Punch down tool C. Protocol Analyzer D. Cable Tester Correct answer B. Punchdown Tool A punchdown tool is needed to crimp CAT6 cable onto RJ45 connectors. The tool is used to insert the individual wires of the CAT6 cable into the RJ45 connector, ensuring a secure connection. A. Loopback Plug a loopback plug is used for testing network connections and devices, not for crimping cables. C. Protocol Analyzer A protocol analyzer is used to capture and analyze network traffic, not for crimping cables. D. Cable Tester A cable tester is used to test the integrity and functionality of network cables, not for crimping cables. Question 14. Which device uses CSMACD to manage collisions? A. Router B. NIC C switch. D. Firewall. Correct answer B. NIC. 
network interface cards, and NICs. Use CSMA CD Carrier Sense, multiple access with collision detection, to manage collisions in Ethernet networks. NIX detect collisions and stop transmitting data, allowing the network to recover before attempting to resend the data. A. Router. Routers are used to connect different networks and route traffic between them, not for managing collisions. C. Switch. Switches are used to connect devices within the same network, but they do not use CSMA CD to manage collisions. D. Firewall. Firewalls are used for security purposes such as filtering and monitoring network traffic, not for managing collisions. Question 15. A network switch at a small office keeps losing power. Which standard should be implemented? A. PUE, B. STPC, OSID, UDP. Correct answer, B, STP. Spanning tree protocol, STP, should be implemented to prevent network issues caused by a switch losing power. STP is a network protocol that prevents loops and provides redundancy, ensuring that the network remains functional even if a switch loses power. A, PoE, power over Ethernet. PoE is a standard that allows power to be supplied through Ethernet cables, not for preventing network issues caused by a switch losing power. C, OSI. The Open Systems Interconnection OSI model is a conceptual framework for understanding network communication, not for preventing network issues caused by a switch losing power. D. UDP, User Datagram Protocol, UDP, is a transport layer protocol used for sending data packets over a network, not for preventing network issues caused by a switch losing power. Question 16. Which device connects to the ISP modem to provide wired and wireless access? A. ONTB. Router C. Switch. D. Bridge. Correct answer. B. Router. A router connects to the ISP modem to provide wired and wireless access. Routers route traffic between different networks, including the internet and can also provide wireless access points for devices to connect to the network wirelessly. A. ONT. An optical network terminal, ONT, is used to terminate fiber optic connections, not for providing wired and wireless access. C. Switch. Switches are used to connect devices within the same network, but they do not provide wireless access. D. Bridge. Bridges are used to connect different network segments, not for providing wired and wireless access. Question 17. A company is rolling out VoIP phones. Which standard allows power over Ethernet cables? A. DOCSIS B. POE C. PPOE D. CSMA CD. Correct answer, B, PoE, power over Ethernet, PoE, is the standard that allows power to be supplied through Ethernet cables, making it suitable for VoIP phones. PoE enables devices like VoIP phones to receive power and data through a single Ethernet cable, simplifying installation and reducing the need for additional power cables. A, DOCSIS, Data Over Cable Service Interface Specification, DOCSIS, is a standard for providing Internet access over cable television systems not for supplying power over Ethernet cables. C. PPoE, point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet, PPoE, is a network protocol used for encapsulating PPP frames inside Ethernet frames, not for supplying power over Ethernet cables. D. CSMA CD, carrier sense, multiple access with collision detection, CSMA CD, is a media access control method used in early Ethernet networks, not for supplying power over Ethernet cables. Question 18. Which networking device operates at layer 3 of the OSI model? A. Hub B. Switch C. Router D. Patch Panel. Correct answer. C. Router. Routers operate at layer 3 of the OSI model. 
They are responsible for routing traffic between different networks and subnets, making decisions based on IP addresses. A. Hub. Hubs operate at layer 1 of the OSI model and are used to connect multiple devices in a network, but they do not route traffic. B. Switch. Switches operate at layer 2 of the OSI model and are used to connect devices within the same network, not for routing traffic between networks. D. Patch Panel. Patch panels are used to organize and connect Ethernet cables in a network, but do not operate at any specific layer of the OSI model. Question 19. An office network is experiencing slow speeds and intermittent outages. Which device should be replaced? A. Hub. B. Repeater. C. Switch. D. Firewall. Correct answer. A. Hub. If an office network is experiencing slow speeds and intermittent outages, the hub should be replaced. Hubs are simple devices that connect multiple devices in a network, but they can cause performance issues due to their inability to intelligently route traffic. Replacing the hub with a more advanced device, such as a switch, can improve network performance. B. Repeater. Repeaters are used to extend the range of a network signal, but are not typically responsible for slow speeds and intermittent outages. C. Switch. Switches are used to connect devices within the same network and generally provide better performance than hubs. D. Firewall. Firewalls are used for security purposes, such as filtering and monitoring network traffic, not for causing slow speeds and intermittent outages. Question 20. Which component needs to be configured with appropriate subnet masks? A. Repeater B. Bridge. C. Router D. Modem. Correct answer, C. Router. Routers need to be configured with appropriate subnet masks. Subnet masks are used to determine the network and host portions of an IP address, allowing routers to route traffic between different networks and subnets. A. Repeater. Repeaters are used to extend the range of a network signal, but they do not require configuration with subnet masks. B. Bridge. Bridges are used to connect different network segments, but they do not require configuration with subnet masks. D. Modem. Modems are used to connect a network to the internet, but they do not require configuration with subnet masks. Question 21. Which device uses SNAT and DNAT to route packets? A. Hub B. Switch C. Firewall D. Access Point Correct answer, C, firewall. A firewall uses source network address translation, SNAT, and destination network address translation, DN8, to route packets. SNAT changes the source IP address of outgoing packets, while DNAT changes the destination IP address of incoming packets, allowing the firewall to route traffic between different networks. A, hub. Hubs are simple devices that connect multiple devices in a network, but do not use SNAT or DNAT to route packets. B. Switch. Switches are used to connect devices within the same network and do not use SNAT or DNAT to route packets. D. Access Point. Access points provide wireless internet coverage but do not use SNAT or DNAT to route packets. Question 22. A technician needs to run a packet capture to analyze unusual network traffic. Which tool should be used? A. Cable tester. B. Toner probe, C. Protocol analyzer, D. Power meter. Correct answer, C. Protocol analyzer. A protocol analyzer should be used to run a packet capture and analyze unusual network traffic. Protocol analyzers capture and analyze network traffic, allowing technicians to identify and troubleshoot network issues. A. Cable tester. Cable testers are used to test the integrity and functionality of network cables, not for capturing and analyzing network traffic. B. Toner probe. Toner probes are used to locate and trace network cables, not for capturing and analyzing network traffic. D. 
power meter. Power meters are used to measure the power consumption of network devices, not for capturing and analyzing network traffic. Question 23. A network policy requires traffic shaping and monitoring of bandwidth usage. Which device provides this functionality? A, hub B, unmanaged switch C, managed switch D, access point? Correct answer C, managed switch. A managed switch provides traffic shaping and bandwidth monitoring functionality. Managed switches allow administrators to configure quality of service QoS policies and monitor bandwidth usage ensuring that critical applications receive the necessary bandwidth and that network resources are used efficiently. A. Hub. Hubs are simple devices that connect multiple devices in a network but do not provide traffic shaping or bandwidth monitoring functionality. B. Unmanaged switch. Unmanaged switches do not provide traffic shaping or bandwidth monitoring functionality and cannot be configured by administrators. D. Access point. Access points provide wireless internet coverage, but do not provide traffic shaping or bandwidth monitoring functionality. Question 24. A company needs to implement Bring Your Own Device on the Corporate Network. Which technology helps enforce this securely? A. SMB B. NACC STP D. SNMP Correct answer B, NAC. Network Access Control NAC technology helps enforce Bring Your Own Device, BYOD, policies securely. NAC solutions authenticate and authorize devices before allowing them to connect to the network, ensuring that only authorized devices can access network resources. ASMB, Server Message Block SMB, is a network protocol used for sharing files, printers, and other resources between devices on a network but it does not help enforce BIOD policies. CSTP, Spanning Tree Protocol, STP, is a network protocol used to prevent loops and provide redundancy in a network, but it does not help enforce BIOD policies. DSNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol, SNMP, is a network protocol used for monitoring and managing network devices, but it does not help enforce BIOD policies. Question 25. A network administrator needs to manage switches and routers remotely. Which protocol enables this administration? A. SMTP. B. SNMPC. NetBIOS. D. SMB. Correct answer. B. SNMP. Simple Network Management Protocol. SNMP. Enables remote management of switches and routers. SNMP allows administrators to monitor and manage network devices from a central location, making it easier to maintain and troubleshoot the network. A. SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, SMTP, is a network protocol used for sending email messages, not for managing network devices. C. NetBIOS. NetBIOS is a networking protocol used for communication between devices on a local network, not for managing network devices. D. SMB. Server Message Block, SMB, is a network protocol used for sharing files, printers, and other resources between devices on a network, not for managing network devices. Question 26. A technician needs to terminate CAT5E cables in a data center. Which tool should be used? A. Crimper B. OTR C. Punchdown Tool D. Cable Strip Correct answer, A, crimper. A crimper should be used to terminate CAT5E cables in a data center. The crimper is used to attach RJ45 connectors to the individual wires of the CAT5E cable, ensuring a secure connection. B, OTDR, an optical time domain reflectometer, OTDR, is used to test the integrity and functionality of fiber optic cables, not for terminating Ethernet cables. C, punchdown tool. A punchdown tool is used to terminate Ethernet cables on a patch panel or keystone jack not for terminating Ethernet cables with RJ45 connectors. D. Cable Stripper A cable stripper is used to remove the outer insulation of Ethernet cables, exposing the individual wires, but
but it does not terminate the cable with RJ45 connectors. Question 27. An office needs to connect two buildings for a network backbone. Which two devices could provide this connection? A. Hub and switch B. Repeater and bridge. C. Router and modem D. Access point and injector. Correct answer, C. Router and modem. A router and modem can be used to connect two buildings for a network backbone. The modem connects to the internet service provider, ISP, and provides internet access, while the router routes traffic between the two buildings, allowing devices in each building to communicate with each other. A. Hub and switch. Hubs and switches are used to connect devices within the same network and cannot be used to connect two buildings for a network backbone. B. Repeater and bridge. Repeaters are used to extend the range of a network signal, while bridges are used to connect different network segments, but they cannot be used to connect two buildings for a network backbone. D. Access point and injector. Access points provide wireless internet coverage, while injectors supply power over ethernet cables to devices like security cameras, but they cannot be used to connect two buildings for a network backbone. Question 28. Which component is used to split and combine optical fiber signals? A. Amplifier B. Transceiver C. Multiplexer D. Attenuator Correct answer. C. Multiplexer. A multiplexer is used to split and combine optical fiber signals. Multiplexers allow multiple signals to be transmitted over a single fiber optic cable, increasing the capacity and efficiency of the network. A. Amplifier. Amplifiers are used to boost the strength of a network signal, but they do not split or combine optical fiber signals. B. Transceiver. Transceivers are used to convert electrical signals into optical signals and vice versa, but they do not split or combine optical fiber signals. D. Attenuator. Attenuators are used to reduce the strength of a network signal, but they do not split or combine optical fiber signals. Question 29. A small business needs wireless internet access across their office space. Which two devices provide this functionality? A. Router and switch. B. Hub and injector. C. Access point and router. D. Firewall and modem. Correct answer, C, access point and router. An access point and router provide wireless internet access across an office space. The router connects to the internet service provider, ISP, and provides internet access, while the access point broadcasts a wireless signal, allowing devices like smartphones, laptops, and tablets to connect to the internet wirelessly. A, router and switch. A router and switch can be used to connect devices within the same network but they do not provide wireless internet access. B. Hub and injector. Hubs are simple devices that connect multiple devices in a network, but they do not provide wireless internet access. Injectors supply power over ethernet cables to devices like security cameras. D. Firewall and modem. Firewalls are used for security purposes, such as filtering and monitoring network traffic, while modems are used to connect a network to the internet. Neither device provides wireless internet access. Question 30. A company is moving from physical to virtualized servers. Which technology enables this transition? A. IDS, B. ICC, FCOED, SDN. Correct answer D. SDN. Software defined networking SDN enables the transition from physical to virtualized servers. SDN allows for the virtualization and centralized management of network resources, making it easier to move servers and their associated applications to the cloud. A. IDS. Intrusion detection systems IDS, are used to monitor network traffic for malicious activity, but they do not enable the transition from physical to virtualized servers. B. ISCISI. Internet Small Computer System. 
Interface ISCSI, is a network protocol used for accessing storage devices over a network, but it does not enable the transition from physical to virtualized servers. C. FCOE Fiber Channel over Ethernet FCOE is a network protocol used for transmitting fiber channel storage traffic over Ethernet networks, but it does not enable the transition from physical to virtualized servers. Congratulations on completing the practice questions on networking hardware. These questions are designed to help you prepare for the CompTIA exam. By mastering these concepts, you're on your way to excelling in the exam and earning your certification. If you have any doubts or need further assistance, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more tech-related content and exam preparation tips. Happy learning and best of luck on your CompTIA journey. See you in the next video.